Hello everyone, Tammy here. Welcome to my channel. Today is um, Marguerite Miller's uh, CW Planner number 36. So today we are working with something that's dark, textured paper, something round, paper with a repeating pattern, a place, and a bonus is a plane. So um, I have all of these. So this um, paper was already in here. It's a uh, paper with a, or uh, pit, yeah, paper with a repeating pattern. And then something that's dark. I have this very adorable uh, poodle there. Uh, something round. I have the moon. Um, uh, paper with the repeating pattern here, a place. So I have this uh, Chrysler building. Um, oh, texture paper, I forgot that. So I have this uh, textured paper. Uh, so I love this. This is, I, I believe this is called mulberry paper. Uh, really like it, really, really pretty. So, um, so I think I'll just uh, start gluing down. Um, is this a right side or a wrong side? I think it goes this way. Okay, so let's get my. Where is it? Here it is. I've been starting to use um, like catalogs and things that come in the mail for glue for using for uh, gluing on top of. Um, not sure why, just because I I don't know. Not that I want to save my book pages because you know I have tons of them, but um, sometimes they're harder to work with when they have glue all over them. So, so that's my thinking. I hope I'm in camera here. Okay, so let's move that over there. So I hope you're all having a great day. Um, I think I glued this on the wrong side. Oh well. It's hard to tell with that paper. Okay, so I just got kind of a, I got a little bit of a new idea here. Let me, um, Look through here real quick. Hmm. I think I'm going to do, <laughs> just thought of this as I had the, the plane and the moon and the Chrysler building um, to do like a King Kong thing. 
instead of using the poodle, we'll use a <laughs> that just popped into my head as I was looking at these together. Um, so I think I'm going to cover the rest of this with this paper. Do. Sorry if I'm out of camera there, out of frame. Um, okay. There's my textured paper. Put this beautiful um, poodle back and get my. Not sure how I'm going to do this, but we'll figure it out. So, moon, plane. Okay, let's cut this guy out. So that I am filming this on a Sunday. Um, and we just had a family uh, video call with my son who lives out of state and my daughter and my husband and I and that was really nice my son just had a birthday last week uh, turned 29 and yeah they went out to dinner and his friends took him out to dinner and he I, I you know just one thing I'll say about this uh, kid is that he, um, from the time he was about three until basically he moved to Oregon, um, he's a very, very, very picky eater. Um, and it's just something that happened, you know, he ate everything when he was a baby and then he started being very sensitive to um, textures and things and he would like physically physically get sick um like from the feeling of the food in his mouth um and he would i mean we with no warning basically we'd be sitting at the table eating dinner and he would throw up um from the feeling of the food in his mouth and so um you know we didn't f force him to eat things because throwing up at the dinner table is not pleasant <laughs> so um and so anyway, what I'm getting at is they went out to dinner, him and his friends, and he he said, you're not going to believe this, but um, I I tried some um, octopus, so he must have some calamar calamari at the restaurant, and he liked it. <laughs> so he's um, definitely been eating a lot more things um, than he did in the past um so yeah so i thought that was that was very 
very entertaining to hear that. Um, he's already, I mean, he's eating a lot more stuff than he used to. And I just think that the, the sensitivity he had is, um, you know, probably gone or, you know, a lot less than it used to be. Um, Oh, I like this. I'm trying to figure out how to make it all work. Um, maybe something like this. This little piece is driving me crazy. Okay, I like that. There we go. So then we have this. I think we'll cut this out. Yeah, so he's um, he's coming up again soon, uh, in a couple weeks. So I'm excited for that. See him for a little bit again. He's mostly going to be hanging out with friends, but he'll stay with us. So that'll be good. I think it's so funny have this King Kong up here and then there's this pretty butterfly on this opposite page. Oh, that makes me laugh. Okay, so I'm going to get the um, hickory smoke, I believe. That's what it's called. I think, I think. First moss. Other twigs. Of course, it's the very last one. Hickory smoke. I don't know if it's going to be dark enough. Hmm. Well, let's just see. Okay, I think that's the only two that I'm going to do, and <clears throat> start gluing down.
I just realized that I covered up the patterned paper. Oh well. Oh well. Call it good. Okay, so let's see. My little pencil. So we ha oh, I gotta put my number somewhere. Maybe right here. Okay, so something that's dark. So we have this uh, gorilla up here, King Kong. Uh, texture paper, that's all the background there. Something round, have the moon. Uh, paper with repeating pattern, it's here but it's covered. Um, so I'm just, I'm gonna say we didn't use it. Um, a place, which is the Chrysler building in New York City and the bonus is a plane check that little plane there so there we go um, that's my Marguerite Miller's uh, CW hashtag CW planner 36 so that was fun uh, did not go anywhere near where I was expecting it to <laughs> when I started but I do like where it ended up so uh, thanks for watching. I hope you have a great day and uh, I'll talk to you soon. Bye.